everyone welcome back to my channel I am filming another studio vlog for February in this vlog I will be painting my Australian native collection which you have most likely seen already but this is me painting them all and getting them ready to put up on my website the first one I did was a kangaroo and this one turned out really amazing this is the first time I started using a different watercolor paper pad and at the start it was really difficult to get used to so this one was a bit rough but in the next artworks I improved a lot and I worked out how the paper worked and how much color to use in water etc. Every month I have a stall at my local markets where I sell my prints and originals and stuff like that so this collection was released on a Saturday night I believe and I do the markets once a month on a Sunday. And this is the completed kangaroo artwork. You'll have to let me know in the comments below at the end after you've seen me paint them all which one's your favourite. This next one is particularly my favourite. I ended up selling this one at the markets and I was really happy but also really sad to see it go. I think I'll have to paint myself another one just to keep for myself. But I still have prints available of this and they look just as cute, just not the original. I really don't know how to sit here and talk to my microphone whilst watching the footage playback but this one is definitely my favourite and later on I will make stickers of this artwork and they are just the cutest things ever so keep an eye out for that. This next artwork is of a wombat and this one is super cute. He turned out looking like a little old man, I think. Well, he looks pretty grumpy, but it looks like an old man. And I think all it needs is like a top hat. <laughs> but I, for some reason, didn't film as much of this one as my other ones. Probably got sidetracked. I did all of these like in a three day span, I think. But once I get started, sometimes I forget to record or take photos, etc. At my market stall, I did really well that day. But I did get a lot of requests for other Australian native animals so I think in my next vlog I'll hopefully be doing a black cockatoo and a platypus. That was the two that got requested quite a bit. If you have any other suggestions of some native animals or should I do some other countries, I'm not really sure. Uh, what you'd like to see but if you have any suggestions I'd love to hear them in the comments below. But here is my final artwork for the kookaburra. It's really cute and I just love this whole collection so much and I can't wait to do a collection of something else but I'm just not too sure what to do yet. Onto my last artwork now. This one's super cute and colourful. I actually have all of the originals still available if anyone was interested. The galah has sold but the rest are up on my website which I'll also link down below as well as the prints and all of the stickers that I made. I did a sticker set with all six including my koala print that I did for the Australian wildlife as a donation artwork and 
they'll all be linked below but this is the final bit and it just turned out so adorable and I really hope it finds a nice home otherwise I'll happily keep it in my art room but I'd love to see it somewhere else. This month I had a couple puppy portrait commissions, I think maybe five, but I only filmed a little bit of three of them I think. So this one's for a lovely girl that she came and picked it up from my market stall and she actually requested me to film it all so she's able to see how I do it all etc which is really cool and I think in the future for all of my poppy portraits I'll film them all just so people are able to see their dog or send it to the person they're giving it to to see how it's made which I think is really cool and I love watching how other people paint certain things so particularly if this was your own puppy or a gift for someone I think it's really cool to be able to see how people made it and how it came to life. I have been a bit slack with filming over the past month or so, so I'm actually filming this voiceover. It's March, which is crazy. February went so quick, but I know with all my orders that I've gotten recently I have about 15 puppy portraits which I have filmed my first five that I've done so far and I hope to film the rest of them so my next month vlog will be insane and it will have so many puppy portraits probably nothing else just puppy portraits so I'm not sure if I should do a vlog that's all of my puppy portraits put together and then a separate one showing me doing stuff and all the other stuff because I have another market coming up this week so I'll be able to film stuff for that as well so just let me know what you'd like to see if you want to see all of the puppy portraits together or a video spaced out and showing everything I get a fair few questions regarding like sizes of portraits and stuff so if you're curious this is A3 um, a lot of my orders that I've gotten recently have been the little baby size ones which are A5 so that's half the size of an A4 like a basic piece of paper that you can get um, I know I know a lot of people that don't deal with paper sizes they get confused all the time which I still do when it like it it just it's so stupid I don't know why the smaller they are the bigger in size they are it's just weird but anyway this is also an A3 this is another pet portrait that I got commissioned to do um, and it's so cute it turned out really nice and yeah I'm it really excited to show you guys all the portraits that I have to do for this month there's so many and some of them are so cute and I can't wait for you guys to see them so for the last part of this vlog I will be getting ready for my market stall and so I've done all these mini stickers up of all of my Australian Native uh, artworks that I've done and they turned out so cute. The Galah and, my, and the Wombat are my absolute favourites. And that's the original Galah that did sell on the day which is really cool. Um, I do have a sticker set of all six now. I used to only have just the koala ones so on my website 
there is all six if you are interested and yeah the rest of the vlog I think it's just me showing everything off and I know that I'm painting a sunflower on a ukulele for a client at my work which is pretty cool so you'll see that at the end but thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.